right, yeah, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Now, time for us to give you some of the stories and where they trend for inside the news um, this morning. Now, let's talk about the Minister of Work, Power and Housing and the discourse because now there is like a different um, statement from both mouths. Now, we yes, say Justice Sule Hassan of the Federal High Court sitting for inside Webodo Lagos here yesterday. Order, say, make the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Ondo State, Mr. Clement Faboyede. And, mo and the most of the statements made last week, Monday, by the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatude Fashola, say about the power sector, say they very false according to the electricity distribution companies. Now, the talk say on Tuesday, say the comments made by the Minister on met metering um, power generation and transmission capacity and stranded electricity, among others, were significantly, significantly distorted. Now, you will wonder what didn't happen. Now, they said the 11 discourse in a joint response to the minister, which was issued by the Executive Director of Research and Advocacy Association of Nigeria Electricity Distributors, um, Sunday Oduton, actually come outside talk, say, it is with much regret, say, we feel compelled to respond to the kind picture and uh, way um, and the minister, don't come outside, paint the electricity distribution companies uh, for inside one press briefing where you do. Now you go to wonder what the minister talk. Now they say on the statement where you talk, in common side talk say this goes that they're responsible for the provision of meters. The power firms um, argue say at the 18th monthly power sector and stakeholders meeting where they get last year for inside August 14, 2017, the minister become as I talk, said the supply of meters to electricity consumers was not exclusive to the discos. Now, now two different statements. The first one, in commerce I talk, say for anybody to get meter, say discos nine day responsible to distribute them. But the meter where they get last week, uh, last year, sorry, commerce I talk, say the um, supply of meters to electric electricity cons um, customers in not day exclusive to discos alone. Now, the firm documents I talk say, this one they contradict um, all the assertion now where cost, uh, customers with no meter should turn to the disco. Say they contradict a lot of things. He said the meter, metering gap, a major concern for our customers and us, unfortunately, has become a politicized issue as a means of tracking and accounting for our revenues. There is no greater interested party in comprehensive meter, metering than the disco. With the farming out of the responsibility of metering to a third party vendors under the meter asset provider regulatory, uh, regulation enacted by NERC, it is our hope that the challenges of estimated billing will be minimized for our customers over time. Now, two different statements. The first one, I'd like to say the first one and the recent one, where Tom Commerce I talk say distribution, it is exclusive um, to disco. But last year, it come as I talk, say it is not exclusive to disco. That one means that there is a third party <sighs> as regards to distribution of meters. As if I don't have, no, nobody, sorry to interrupt, okay, but no, nobody no. the first time we don't even hear say not just discos, uh, no, we just did discos alone, and they distribute meters. Several times we don't hear say they get some companies too where they, uh, where also they in partnership yes. or we also they in charge of distributing meters. A third party. Meters, a third mm -hmm. party, exactly. Now this thing don't cost Wahala. Yes. Because regulation now can't be trouble, trouble. If you remember, was it yesterday or two days ago, Luchi and I will be mentioned mm -hmm. and say uh, they've been charged at 80,000 naira. 83 to be Three nice. for receiving, so get a meter, uh, meter. if she wants a meter. Free. Now, exactly. Free. Now, this exclusivity, they don't talk like the statement where you, where you read out. They don't mm. talk whether or not it's going to be free or whether we're to pay for it. Yeah, Even though yeah. we know, say, as at the last time we didn't give the report, we're the not supposed yeah. to pay for this meter. Now, we are talking about meter, meter, meter. What is the state of electricity in our country? Has it improved? Because I remember when our own president gave speech that light now has become better. And yet, people are still buying generators every day. And yet, people are even buying more than one. Because if you get only one generator, you are taking a big risk just in case of overuse of one of the generators. Now, the power sector for inside Nigeria now has uh, the, the overhaul they don't do on top, and we don't know how effective it is, they? Because even as we speak, a lot of communities still pay for their own private transformers. A lot of transformers are being overloaded. A lot of transformers still need maintenance work. A lot of these transformers, things are being stolen from them even when they are being tried, when they are tried to be guarded by we, where, where they actually use these things. But how well has the government tried to make sure, say, the small electricity, this same year too, we've heard out the power of power, power grid has failed. Don't collapse, yes. It don't collapse. How the, the, how the drop? How there's been a drop in the mm -hmm. power that mm -hmm. we're being given out? But yet we're still giving electricity to our neighboring countries. Yeah. Yet we still give gas to Ghana. 
Yet, to Kotonu them, we still give some of them light. Togo them, we still give them light. But we do not even have to even cater for our own country. It can't be like, say, some people are sabotaging what should be our own benefit, our rights, so that some other people feel benefit from them. Very true. Now, talking about, just quickly, talking about power generation. Now, the discourse even come outside, faults the claims by the minister, say our power generation don't actually increase. Mm. Now, the come outside talks, say we don't understand the constant reference to the increase of generation capacity where the come outside release, say mm. it don't increase from from 4,000 4, to 7,000. 7, like he said for a period of 2015 to 2018 that has been used as a basis of defining the discourse as incapable of taking on more power. Now, what did the dot com aside talk? So now, they, wait, 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 wait till you try talking and say, um, they say it has not increased. Or they it say it hasn't increased. increased. Oh. So they, but oh. there are claims that it yeah. has increased. Mm -hmm. oh. and then if you, if you, so if you, if you, if you, each time, if you notice, when we come and say it don't increase, then later, not too long after, we go here and say the grid don't collapse. Yes. Uh -huh. So does it mean that we don't have the capacity to support the increment in power generation? A whole lot of things now our minister has to look into. Now, now, now Bernard, just to add to it, now, if, if only we fit, there are people in this country that are trying to generate power on their own. There are people that are actually doing research on their own, independently, that are trying to create alternative sources of electricity. Oh, yeah. How well is the government putting their own foot into that sector to make sure, say, not be only from water, mm. if we get light, not be only from this grid, where on this is 19 Bogotibo, where we get, now they take, try to generate sources of power. If we have independent people that are trying to do this, how well are we trying to encourage these people? I know there's still an argument as regards to that. I remember one time where I be read until Lagos State, they try to generate their, their own lives, mm -hmm. but they have not, they've, they've not been given autonomy to do that. There's still an see, argument it's, as regards to it's, that. It's like a discouragement. Well, let's see how it goes. I know, say, generation of power are very, very expensive in a capital intensive project, yes. but then if we get, uh, if we get people, we get People are using fossil fuels to, to try to, to, try to generate. What about each state generating their own lights? I mean, it should, yeah, it, it should be looked into. It should be looked into. It should be looked yeah. into. You yeah, know? But we know some states we don't get any resources. Where they completely depend. Mm. On the and so federal. then we cannot go back to the merging. I mean, I, I, I see some yeah. research yeah. that yeah. some people in South Africa are using potato peeling to generate electricity. Yeah, so I know. Happens. They are using it to power their batteries. Using to charge their phones. There's so many sources. So many sources of alternative power. But yet. Oh, we uh, think we need to really need to look That's into, all. Into look and into with this argument between this cause and even the Minister of um, um, Works Housing uh, and Power, that one means that people not go get access to meter. Mm. Because exactly. this one, we they go back yeah, and back forth. Yeah, back and forth. Presently now, we have people not get access to meter. Right Very now, sad from, from the person who even called my house, he tell me, say, meter not even day. He ah. said there's no meter. He even tell me, say, if you see somebody that wants to sell, Oh boy, buy them from Amna. So I go there when you cannot even control the state distribution of it. It's very, very sad. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, we go see the follow up this story. Make way to hear waiting the minister go respond concerning this particular matter. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.